All right, so yesterday I started wet sanding the uh, the roof of the Camaro because I wanted to do the, I wanted to compound and polish it, but I had a few things show up, which I'm going to take care of with the prep all here. All right, anyway, so yeah, this is what I'm talking about. All these little white dots just started showing up as I was sanding it. My first thought is to go ahead and just flow coat the roof because of these, and I think they thought they were solvent pumps, and I'm not sure what they are. I'm not really in the mood to flow coat the roof because I'm really, I have the cutlass turned around and I wanna get work done I want to get this roof finished. I want to get this panel over here finished up and I want to get this blocked off so I can get the whole thing primered. So I don't want to spend a lot of time on this Camaro. I want to spend time on this on the weekend when I'm not working on the Cutlass. But I want to get this done because I don't want it to go all week with a sanded roof. So let's get through this real quick and then Let's get this compounded and polished and waxed, and then we will get back onto the cutlass here in a moment. Sitting in the shade way over yonder to uh, get cooled off before I go ahead and wash it. Hold on, yeah, there we go. Before I go ahead and wash it, then get all that, um... anyway, before I go ahead and wash it and uh, get all of the um, compound and um, polish residue off of the car and put a coat of wax on it but until then I'm going to go ahead and sand this down and it doesn't look like I need to sand down the top of the cutlass the roof up here so I'm going to leave it as is and I'm just going to work this panel right here so that I can go ahead and get the whole roof primer today along with this side over here. That way we can start working our way down to the quarter panels. And we'll start with this quarter panel since this one's already got partially worked on anyway. So that's gonna be the plan now. I'm gonna go ahead and put up the stuff that I was already using and get the new stuff out. All right, so this is where we are. Got it all sanded, taped off, taped off got it taped here just have to finish the masking masking here also but not just yet um so i'm gonna go ahead and do the body filler here oh i want to get my prep all so i'm gonna get this cleaned up i still feel stuff but i'm gonna go ahead and get the filler and i'm not gonna make the same mistake i did last time trying to do it little bits at a time i'm just gonna go over it blend it from here to here and then or feather it I'm sorry go ahead and put it from here to here and feather it and it'll level itself out to this piece is here and these little pieces all the way along the bottom here I even found that little dent right there we'll have to go ahead and take care of also so all right uh we'll go ahead and get to get all that taken care of now and in this way I can go ahead and feather some of this stuff up top here like this how it's got um, rough edges so that they be feathered in and do a little bit more here but other than that that's where we're at and we are getting that much closer to uh, priming this side of the roof and this so that we can go ahead and move on to this quarter panel and get that much closer <laughs> that much daggone closer to block sanding this car so and that one should be cool enough that i'll be you know as soon as i'm done with this we'll go ahead and wash it but not right now well went ahead and got the compressor full this is all sanded down nice and smooth i do has got a few little uh, pieces there but this is nice and flush this right here needs a little bit this is a low spot, a low spot. This 
is level but it's a little low right here and this spot is good now this spot I did fill it in but it needs just a little bit a touch more there the roof I went ahead and did sand it so now I gotta do is and I did clean up the edges here uh, I gotta clean that up right there a little bit better but um, other than that the roof is ready to primer primer you know not not spray can primer but actually real primer um so and it's all sanded back here also i'm just going to go ahead and get a step ladder that i have in the house and use that and just tape off this window right here and finish the windshield up front and then we're going to prime it well after i fix these little spots here I'm gonna need to read the directions of the prep all again, but I'm pretty sure I see the marks, the water, you know, if it's drying on there, if it's not supposed to dry or not, is what did me in on the Camaro. Now, I also know on the Camaro, I probably shouldn't have been doing like before I did primer, a uh, prep all type of um, wipe down. Just a tack rag is all I should have done. Um, I guess that was me being overly cautious uh, because I also at the same time went ahead and wet sanded because I was afraid of getting all that, you know, the dirt because of the because you know I didn't have dirt on the ground I cleaned it as best I could and there really wasn't dirt in the paint but I don't know you know I just it's just one of those things where um, I think it's a, a sum of a bunch of things together that I did wrong is what did the paint bad on the Camaro so like I said I'm gonna learn from that one do it right on this one there's going to be a time when the Camaro gets done again, obviously because of that. So, um, but, you know, I'm happy with it. All right. So anyway, back to this one. Got that wiped down. I have my primer here. So we're going to go ahead and mix it in this cup and we are going to get the spraying. I'm not going to, last time I think I sprayed, let's see, four to one. What did I do? I think I went three. I think I'm only going to get a two this time. Because I don't need nearly as much as... I don't, I don't need more than two coats. And I think if I did it to three last time, I think I was doing like three coats. So I'm only going to get a two, two this time. So, alright. Get it done. sail panels are complete finally 
but I can see right here this can use a little ooh, I have y'all facing right here this can use a little bit more sanding I thought I had it feathered out nicely I missed this spot here um, the spots down here did pretty good pretty good I mean they're all gonna be fixed up anyway um, but this roof is finally finished I finally got it completely done on both sides primered so now I can start working on these quarter panels and start progressing to the doors but like I said I'm doing the quarter panels next because the doors have the rust holes at the bottom of them right down there um, the quarter panels I'll be able to do them plus I'll be able to take the tail light assembly off and do it along with that uh, parking lights assembly there so this is done I'm not going to be well actually the way the weather's feeling right now I'm not going to be painting I was going to be cleaning the Camaro but it's a little late right now um, I have other things I got to do um, not late in the day but late in time so anyway that is it for today we got it all done um, looks pretty decent I will yeah. yeah I'm liking that liking that I'm happy now I just need to go you know guide coat and hand block sand it and we will be good to go although I do need to get new filters for my spray gun because I had trash blowing out everywhere but I believe that was more of the trash in between the windshield and the um, the roof here so which is fine because up in here will be more done will be done when the windshield comes out anyway and same thing with this little pillar here but yeah that's bolted onto the car so oh and that means also I could do these and these are quick and easy because they're just by hand I can unbolt them tape it off and do them so anyway thanks for watching like comment and subscribe and we will become we will be hitting this again hopefully quarter panels have a good one.